fucking shit. Fucking do it live. Or I fucking do it live. Fucking beat suck. Yeah. Hello, boys. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What up guys, Fast Forward always here, back with another cop job. Sorry about the delayed video, I have just been busy with college shit. I've been slacking to be fully honest. Uh, okay, so I'm here with the long awaited Enfant Leveur review. I can't count how many times people are like, Kevin, you're saying Enfant Leve wrong. Kevin, it's Enfant Leve. So Enfant Leve is essentially a European company that does tech wear and like technical garments for relatively cheap. So it's kind of like uh, what represent clothing is to fear of God. So they have been able to produce like a lot of garments that are on the same level as, well not same level, but same fabric as let's say Acronym or Arteryx. Um, a lot of stuff like that. They've been using like Stotts, they've been using um, Ecoya, they've been using like technical poplin. So the pants that I am currently reviewing, so I'm going to be reviewing the brand and the pair of pants. So I got the Uteri uh, cargo pants. I actually got it in the technical poplin. Sure, it might not be the most water resistant because I do have to reapply the coating, but I got these because it is the lightest of the pair and California gets fucking hot. So I've been testing this pair for about six months or so and I'm here with the review of it. So like one of the pros of the brand itself is actually you can customize the fit of any of their bottoms that they have. So like let's say you are slightly taller than let's say the model weight and the model height. Then for me, I basically had a 31 inch waist but I also made it slightly cropped. So that was also a huge plus. They also let me add any special little detailing such as these belt loops. Normally they don't come with it and I asked for like a custom sizing for the belt loops. The only little disclaimer is that you cannot uh, return the products if you did do a custom order. Unless they messed up, then you can talk to them and that actually leads into my second pro is that their customer service is fucking on top of it. Like I emailed them three minutes and within I think four minutes they replied to me with every answer that I needed. Like I was just like, Hey yo, like, when's my shit getting shipped? Right now. And I'm like, oh shit, thank you. Like, is there any issues? He's like, nope, here's the tracking number, etc. And just like, it was so quick, I was almost like astonished. Cause even with like smaller niche brands, they only reply like every like two business days or something like that. These guys were like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I, I took a snap and put Japanese porn on. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> I took one and said, Kevin makes porn to gay 17. <laughs> so, my last pro is actually about the pants themselves. So, specifically, these are the, I guess, nicest feeling tech wear bottoms that I've ever had. I tested them at Seattle. I have tested them through California's Heat and also. I'm currently in San Diego, so it's a little bit chillier. They've all done extremely well over the course of, I believe, four or five months, almost six months now. Uh, they've resisted the rain, they've resisted kayaking in Seattle, they've resisted the mild winds of San Diego where it reached like 60 degrees, and it also resisted like 95 degrees to 100 degrees in SoCal. So this is a pretty well-versed um, pair of pants. I wouldn't suggest it for much colder climates such as like New York or anything like that. I wouldn't also suggest it for like the harsh winters of like New York or Chicago or anything like that. I'd suggest maybe you go up to a different fabric because I know they offer these in two different fabrics. I swear, if you try to distract me, I'm 100% on this shit, boy. <laughs> All of your dick, just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we are moving on to the cons. There have actually been a lot of um, public debate about Enfant Leve uh, and whether or not they are actually worth the money and all that. So, essentially, the biggest complaint is that their quality control. So, their quality control is essentially because everything is made to order, that's why it takes around two weeks to get your order in production and then they ship it to you. It takes like a week more. Um, so essentially, the biggest thing that I personally noticed is that some of their stitching is a little bit off. 
So that can only just happen with, you know, like custom made to order stuff. Even though they are at a very like limited production line, I am sort of expecting like the high quality stitching, high quality, like, you know, build quality. I've had friends who got their pair of pants and the button immediately came off. So that's like a negative on me. But my personal opinion is that the Uteri cargo pants, they haven't given me very much issue or anything. They had a few loose threads and it just like, kind of like nipped them, but there is nothing essentially terrible about them. It's just not that great. But for the price, you gotta weigh that in and for the option to customize. So I touched upon my second con briefly is that it takes about two to three weeks to get your order, especially in the US. So um, they produced my pair of pants a little bit late. Um, I messaged them and then they told me that they were just getting started on it and it's already been sort of like one and a half weeks. But it ended up finishing right before the two week mark and then they shipped it out the next day. And it's just like, it's kind of weird. Like I've come accustomed to everything being sort of instantaneous. Where like, you know, the Amazon now have the advent of one day shipping. And it's just like, ASOS also has one day shipping. Amazon has two day shipping, like, and one day shipping. It's just like, I've come accustomed to just being like, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, like right now. Like the day or the day after. So it was like, Low key painful for waiting for this, so that might be my other little downfall of it. My last con is something I also briefly touched on in my pro section is that the price. So I believe there are only certain items that I think are actually worth the money. Um, the jackets themselves, I'm a little bit iffy on because they are a pretty high price point, and I feel like I could also get maybe a jacket by Arteryx, or maybe I could even get something by Four Dimension or Gorilla Group that might be up, maybe even better than the build quality of Enfant Leve. Um, some of their pants, I do think they're cool. They do have a lot of like Fear of God-esque pants, which is also one of the reasons why not a lot of people mess with Enfant Leve, because a lot of people are saying that they are sort of trend hopping in a way. And I think to a certain extent, yes, that is true. Lately, techwear has become sort of like a big community and it's just like gaining a lot of momentum with like all these like different influencers wearing like techwear stuff. Um, so that's, that's sort of where we're at. Like I know from like a design and integrity standpoint, I can understand why you might not like Enfant Leve, but from strictly from a consumer standpoint, it's, it's actually not terrible because there is a market for techwear, just not expensive techwear. Even though, like, albeit the build quality might not be as good as acronym, but the price point kind of does reflect it. So it's like some items you got to see like, yo, is this cotton tool bottoms really worth that much? You gotta really put it into perspective. Is this cotton twill cargo is really worth that much when I can get it at H&M, you can get it at Zara, Uniqlo, all of that? Or is like, you know, this Stotts fabric, which I can't really get a lot of it, and also the fitting on a lot of the Stotts pants are weird. Can I get nice form-fitting Stotts pants? I think that's where the Enfant Leve target demographic is. So, here comes the question. Should you cop Enfant Leve? I personally think you are fine with comping Enfant Leve. Um, I don't have any like bad experiences with them necessarily. It's just some things that I personally kind of be like, ooh, like I don't know, like I would like to change this, that. I would also like to see maybe more designs, maybe more jackets, more, um, more different styles of pants. And I'd say in the future, I'd like to see them kind of deviate off of other people's or like backpacking off of other people's designs. Because if you look at a lot of the Enfant Leve pants designs and their design, even for their advertisement, it looks very, very, very similar to other creators. I can put like a picture up kind of showing like a few of the comparisons. So should you cop Enfant Leve? If you are starting tech where you do not have an extreme budget, I definitely do suggest that you pick up Enfant Leve just as like a starter, like kind of like a tech wear starter kit in a way. Try out Enfant Leve, see if like this is the type of style, type of aesthetic that you do want to go for and make your decision at that point. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry about the delayed video. I will do an on body really quickly with like two or three outfits and yeah. Um, more videos coming soon. I am going to be reviewing the underscore coated uh, 
bag uh, by my friend Jiro slash Chris. I'm also going to be doing that. Um, I am also going to be talking about my recent pickups and I'm also going to be talking about some fragrances that I picked up from Rita. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. It's just been kind of crazy. I've been sort of slacking, but I'm back on my bullshit boy. And I'll see you guys later. I feel like a Spartan, my neck fucking froze like it came from the Arctic Young shark in the water, I swim for my target I bite on your bitch like a wolf in the harvest My chain got them rocks like a dick sight Put my name on the block like I'm selling them too And my gang probably knocking a fist fight With that rap on my socks and Margella my shoes My life is a movie, you stuck in a rerun So far ahead, none of these pussies can keep up Ball on these hoes, it's your polish like D1 She sucked me so quick, I might call it a speed run 812 till I move out Keep it 812 till my friends do too Saying 812 till the bends out Fuck it, they want to till the iced out dupe, I'm gone Just kidding, I'm back Had to come through, start shitting on tracks Selling mad beats, made a living off rap But nobody buys yours like Digimon packs And I know it's hard to hear, but I've been the best And I got them all running like the fittest test hey, sir. Second that they see their chicks in the text While well, I'm balling like Reggie back in 2006 hey, sir. 31, 31 flavors. flavors I don't give a fuck about your major, man I'm just about to hit up LA like the Lakers, Lakers. Got some cuties out in Cali trying to take my hand And it's way too fucking easy, y'all just don't believe me High school friends will call me once I'm on the TV I don't give a, I don't even pick up, I don't give them CDs I don't fuck with y'all and I ain't signing treaties I don't give a fuck You used to call me on my Call me on my Nintendo's 3DS